as Naxi would say, ooh wee. Look at that glass. It's nothing more beautiful than a shiny black car. Y'all want some reflection? Let's get some reflection. I know it's not the prettiest reflection, it's just my neighbor's garage. But man, that's a nice reflection. But you want the true reflection? Boom. Oh. oh boy. Let's see what we can do. Hold my beer. Hey guys, Chelsea from Attention to Details. I wanted to hop on super fast. A few months back, I did a quick little snippet showing that I had purchased the Flex 3401. And I have to be quite honest with you. I have several polishers. I have my 21 millimeter long throw that I purchased from Raindrop Storytelling. Absolute beast. Love that thing. I have my GG6. That is tried and true. That will work nine times out of ten for majority of daily drivers get fantastic results. I actually, I've purchased the G9 from Griots. I'm going to be testing that out in a couple of weeks. I'm waiting for a backing plate to be delivered because I like a five uh, inch backing plate versus a six. Most of my pads are five inch pads, so be looking for that review. But here we have the Flex 3401. You can see right here, this is a German made powerhouse of a polisher. This is forced rotation. These are dual action. So they're going to spin in two different directions. This is going to oscillate in one direction. It's similar. It's kind of like the, if a rotary and a DA were to have a baby on steroids. That's what the Flex 3401 is. But I'll be honest with you, because I'm so familiar with these two polishers right here, and nine times out of 10, they get a majority of the defects out. I have a majority of my customers are probably soft medium paint. I don't get a whole lot of hard paint in like a Mercedes Benz or Corvettes, things like that. I get a lot of daily drivers. This high Hyundai, 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 I don't know how to say it. Hyundai Santa Fe, this is a repeat customer. I have polished this vehicle before, so I know it's precariously hard. It, I, I, and the customer is specifically wanting QP on 2.0, put on the vehicle. I offer package where I use Enigma All-in-One, which is a medium cut compound that finishes down beautifully. And I know I'm trying to, I'm trying to give you kind of the context and what's going on. So because I've been intimidated of using the Th Flex 3401, I haven't played with it that much. This is really my first time. I'm forcing myself to use it because I know this is harder paint. I need a little bit more punch, but I also don't want to have to spend five, six hours. Last time I polished this, I only had my GG6. It took me quite a while, most of the day, to polish it. I struggled to get a majority of the defects out. I think I had to break out almost a wool pad to get the results that I wanted to. We had some hazing, and then I had to follow up with um, a light polishing pad just to get the, the, the pop that I was looking for. So let me show you what's going on with this paint. My customer frequents an automatic car wash with brushes. Let me show you the side. So you can see, even though I polished this last time to, I would say, near perfection, it was like 90-95% defect free, we've got a lot of swirls that we got to work on. So I'm not wanting to be super aggressive with the paint because, again, I know he's going to continue to go through the car wash. At this point, I'm just looking to refine. Well, let me show you. I did four very quick passes. Orange pad, Flex 3401. Look at that. We've got a little bit of polishing oils. That's showing you that streaking, and we're gonna be removing that. But take a look at that. That is near defect free. So I'm gonna put you uh, into my tripod, and I want to show you how quickly I am moving the polisher to get those kind of results on hard Santa Fe paint that is pretty severely scratched. So again, let me show you. I'm gonna do this section right here. You can see what kind of swirls we've got going on. All right, I'm gonna polish that same section. Do four quick passes. I'm gonna show you the speed that I'm moving my arms and I want you to see what kind of defect removal we can get with this beast. All right, orange pad, Enigma all-in-one. This is a ceramic infused medium cup compound. It bonds really well with QP on 2.0, so that's why I'm using it. I'm gonna kiss this out. I started at speed three, then bumped it up to only four. 
not hot. Polish wipes off super easy. The only thing is there's so much lubricating oil in it that because it has such a long work time that that can be a little difficult to remove some of the carrier oils. We'll just do a quick spritz with Carco Eraser and that will resolve that. All right, let me bring you in close. All right, so here's our finished look. And I actually did do Car Pro Racer on the panel to try to remove some of the polishing oils. So one, you can see we've removed fillers. And two, this is the finished look that you're gonna get. We're gonna top it with QP on 2.0 to lock this in and, and increase shine. But for being able to remove defects quickly, this is a fantastic process. I'm, I'm really regretting not pushing myself to get over my intimidation of the machine. I, I think I, I was so excited to try it out initially and then just out of using what was comfortable to me and a lot of times I'm under the gun time-wise and so I don't necessarily want to have to play with something and learn it uh, you know when I'm on a, a crunch so what I, I was just doing is just grabbing what I knew, doing what I knew and just getting through it. I have a little bit more time with this vehicle. I have it until tomorrow, so if I don't get it done polishing today, I'll for sure get it done tomorrow. But at this rate, I'll be done by 2.30, 3 o'clock, which is fantastic. I can top it with QP on 2.0 in half an hour, be done, you know, shower, make dinner, hang out with the kids. It's going to be an awesome night for me. So for any of you that are kind of wanting to take your polishing to the next level, Let's say you are a pro detailer, or maybe you have a vehicle with really hard paint and you don't want to have to spend tons of time, you know, dealing with a DA. And maybe you are, I wouldn't say a beginner, maybe you are, you know, moving beyond that novice level to, you know, more of an expert, but you're wanting to take your, your DA polishing skills to the next level. You guys got to check this out. The Flex 3401. I actually purchased a kit off of McKees 37 and I think they have it on sale right now for $3.99 and you might be thinking, wow, that's a lot of money. Considering the Rupes, you're going to be spending over $400. The kit from McKees 37 is going to include pads, 
microfibers as well as polishing pad conditioner and polishing pad cleaner which they're two fantastic products by themselves that I buy separately but you get all of that combined it's a great way to try out their pads also try out um, microfibers and, and their chemicals but alone you're gonna get a great price for the flex that's I mean it's fantastic I'm seeing it online four hundred dollars in other places you're getting this for three ninety nine plus all the other stuff so I'm not trying to be you know Billy from OxyClean and buy now but wait there's more but seriously it's a really great price for a fantastic machine I can do one polishing and it's gonna pay for the machine and then it's also going to increase my time but I'm still gonna be able to charge X amount for labor and it's gonna increase my profit margin so that to me is a wise investment when I have harder paint I know I can go to this route I'm not gonna have the fear like I would uh, or some people would using a rotary that you might burn paint has a little bit more forgiveness uh, you still have to be you know watch your lines and things like that but for the most part you're gonna cut defects quickly and get a great result seriously impressed with this machine and uh, yeah I just wanted to share my my experience with any of you maybe you specifically have hard paint that you work on a lot or maybe you're just wanting to uh, increase your efficiency and increase your profit margin you want to get a polisher that's going to give you faster results and this is definitely one to check out so I'll put the link for the McKees 37 kit down below if you have any questions about the machine I'm still learning but if I can help I would gladly help if any of you have more experience with the flex 34 one and you have tips let us know in the comment section down below. I want this channel to be one to educate and utilize conversation and enhance other people's knowledge. So thanks for watching. I'm going to keep moving on this vehicle, but you guys have a fantastic day. We'll see you in the next one. Now the cat probably needs to just be an indoor cat. With schools shut down, many facing job disruptions, and of course stressing over how they're going to continue to feed the family, the Central PA Food Bank is a lifeline for so many. We cannot do this alone. Your support today will help in providing self-sustaining meals and reducing hunger in 27 counties across central Pennsylvania during this time of uncertainty. Together, we